Okay, there's a Thera right there. Is that the one we're after? Yes, it is. Level 150. Beautiful. Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to maybe see if we can go find and tame a level 150, I think, male Therizian store that I saw way up in the northwest part of the map. Uh, but before we get started, we're going to cut Mythical's hair because I need the, the hair for um, uh, for the uh, thingamadoodle, right? Uh, so we'll cut that, and I'm sure he won't mind. He's been sleeping on my floor for a week and uh, hasn't come back in the game yet. So can I actually pick him up? What's the key for pickup? Drag body. Um, let's move him into here so he's kind of out of the way. How do I it's E? Okay. Um, all right, so we should now have enough human hair to make our nanny. So let's take a look and see what we need to do to get that done. Got everything. Okay, cool. And the nanny just runs on power straight up, so we don't need to make like re fertilizer or anything like that. Uh, I actually do need to make some more re fertilizer though. Uh, how do I do that? Do I do that in my own inventory? Re uh, what the heck? Knock it off. Re fertilizer here. I need all that stuff. Uh, I got a bunch of extra fertilizer in the barn. So we'll do that. Um, let's see. So I think, do I have to put food on the nanny to feed the babies? I think I do. Until they get to the point where they can eat out of the truck. And we have, yeah, we have plenty of, of stuff in here uh, for that as soon as they uh, can eat out of the trough. Okay, so why don't we do this? Let's put our nanny... She's, can I turn her the other way? Yeah, I can, okay. Oop. I think she's facing forward there. Yep, she is, okay, cool. Hi, Nanny. Um, so she's activated. Yeah. All right, so let's put, uh, what are, we've, we've got penguins to hatch. And a Denonicus. I don't know what Denonicuses eat. But we'll put some meat, fish, and berries in her inventory. Gives food to nearby babies under 50% maturity and prints nearby non adult dinos. Okay. All right. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to get into our thingy here. We're going to select our Denonicus egg, and we're going to hatch it. Oh, we got two. Nice. Okay. Um, imprint. By the time you hear the scurrying claws of the dinosaur, uh, we got to get we got to get the other one. Superior hunters. They leap from a hiding place. All right. Nice. We got twins. The Deinonychus is an agile climber as well, jumping from wall ledge to wall ledge as it seeks high vantage points. That's good because uh, the main reason I wanted these is for eggs. Oh, wait, are they... Okay. Oh, and they're both females too. That's perfect. Okay. So the nanny put the meat in because I didn't have to do that. Okay. And she'll take care of the imprinting too. Nice. Okay. For those of you who want to listen to what Helena Walker is saying, I'm going to do this again. For those of you who don't want to hear it, um, just fast forward. By the time you hear the scurrying claws of the Dimonicus, it's often too late. Superior hunters, they leap from a hiding place and pounce on their prey. The Dimonicus is an agile climber as well 
jumping from wall ledge to wall ledge as it seeks high vantage points to lie in wait. A hungry Deinonychus tends to be fearless and will hunt prey much larger than itself, latching onto a dinosaur's back with its sickle-shaped claws, then starting to feed before its victim is even dead. While it lights its meat fresh, a Deinonychus isn't above scavenging a carcass if no other food is available. Raising a Deinonychus in captivity requires an ample food supply, as they have a fast metabolism to match their high activity level. The Deinonychus is also fiercely territorial near nests with eggs, even if the eggs aren't its own. This makes breeding successive generations a hazardous process. Unless raised from eggs, they cannot be tamed. The hunter instinct of a wild Deinonychus is so strong that it reflexively pounces on a would-be master. Yeah, there you go. Deinonychus. So we got two females. Um, at some point, we probably will need to uh, see if we can get a male too. Um, I don't know if they have to have a male to lay normal eggs. I don't think they do, actually. So if that's the case, that's really, like I said, the only reason I, I have them is for their eggs for kibble. Okay, let's see. What else we got? Um, we got a penguin. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, right here. Okay. And these guys are just here for... Um, are you following me? Uh, just to give us normal eggs and actually we might we might raise a bunch of penguins for polymer too but i mean polymer is so easy to get on this map so i don't know if we need to worry about that or not i'm a little closer okay and then you should have oh there you go she just put some food in you oh she's giving you normal meat i thought she would give you I thought she would give you um, fish, but I guess not. Okay. Um, let's get the other penguin. Oh, we got twins. Oh no, we got triplets. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's uh, that's a lot. Okay, I'm not gonna bother naming them. Come over here. I've got my room air conditioner running, so if you guys hear the wind blowing in my mic, apologize, but it's kind of hot in my office right now. Okay, so y'all should be have some meat. All right, I'm going to try an experiment. If I accidentally hit this, is it just going to do it or is it going to say, are you sure? Let's find out. Damn, son. That's dangerous. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, we're going to have to be really, really careful with that. That but that damn button should have a, are you sure you want to do this? My goodness, that's scary. Okay. Um. So let's let's hatch the other dodo. Oh, there you are. Okay. And you are a female, which is great. Because uh, we need you to lay some more eggs for us. I don't actually think I need to pull them over this close to the nanny. Because um, she's got quite a range. Does it uh, show range? Yeah, so that's her, her t entire range. Uh, let's see. Hide range. Okay. Cool. Um, so Nanny will take care of all of these critters. And we don't need to worry about it for now. Excellente. Alright, guys. So, yeah. Um, wait. Let's see. Trying to decide if I want to take, I think I'm going to take the RG just because the Arge is um, a lot more combat capable. 
Well, the, I guess uh, Vampiro would be good too. Um, yeah, let's take Vampire. It, it would be a lot faster if we took the Maywing, but the Maywing's not really a combat critter. It's uh, just fast. Fast and fun. The bat's pretty damn fast too, but it's also very dangerous. Not to us, to our enemies. Okay. And we can do the, the Sanguine Elixir with it too. Uh, speaking of which, let's grab... Um, like a half stack of blood and get that to the bat okay so what I've done is I've just set up or, or built rather four behemoth gates and I think we'll just use that as our trap uh, because that'll handle a lot of different types of critters um I'm just trying to think think for a second Let's uh let's actually try something here. So if we go we put one there and then one there and then one there and then one there. I'm just trying to get a feel for how far apart I should be putting these. Cuz we don't want to Oh, you know what? Yeah, shit. I'm gonna have to put him. That that would work for a Rex, but I think a Therizinus. Oh, whoops. <laughs> those uh, those snapped, didn't they? Okay. Let's try this again. Let's put this on. Get rid of this. Pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. So what we're going to have to do when we set these up is, and I, I guess I don't need, I didn't need four of the gates. I only need two of the gates, but I needed four of the frames. Right. Okay. So what we'll have to do when we set this up is we'll have to go into the camera mode, the overview camera, so we can kind of get the spacing a little bit better here. Let's move that that way. I'm just I'm just practicing for the real deal is all. It's been a little while since I've done this. Okay, so that way we can kind of create a bit of a gap, but not too much of a gap when we're putting these down. I'm sure that would be fine for a Therizinosaur. Okay. And then what we do is we put this here. And of course we would want to uh, auto close only probably with a close delay of five seconds on that side. And switch this to manual. So if we if we were using the bat to go through, which we would be, we have to open that. And yeah, okay, yeah. So as long as we leave enough room there, we can we can just fly out the top and then get the Therizinus. So we're trapped inside. Oh yeah, we are gonna have to make sure though that there's enough room to do that. I suppose the other thing we could do is, if we had to is just open this scooch out and it'll <coughs> excuse me uh, we, we would want this to auto close switch to automatic auto close only and have it close instantly okay so so we come here Open that, open this, don't get caught, and then it closes instantly. The thing though about that is if the Therizinosaur is right on our tail, that could be tricky. So we, we probably better just make sure that we set it 
so that we can we can get out the top with the bat. Okay. I think we have our, our marching orders here. We'll pick all of these up. Now, uh, we want to make sure, too, that we have... Whoops. All of the equipment and material that we need. Uh, so we got lots of biotoxin. Let me uh, take a quick look on Dota Dex here. Okay, Dota Dex. There is Xenosaurus. Level 150. Ah, shit. Okay, we're going to need either Exceptional Kibble or we're going to need 49 veggies and it's going to take an hour and 18 minutes. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. We would need a total of four biotoxin over that period of time to keep it from losing its torpor. Using my ascendant rifle that does 262% damage, it'll we can knock it out in 16 with 16 darts, which is pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. And um, their Xenosword does not have a headshot multiplier, so we can just shoot it anywhere. Okay, so based upon that information, we're going to... We're still going to take a lot more biotoxin than just four. Um, let's take 54. <laughs> I don't want to risk it for a biscuit, man. Because their torpor goes down fast. Um, plus, we have some extra narcotic, too, if we need it for any reason. we got plenty of darts. And um, let's grab... I don't think it matters what kind of veggie we grab. But we uh, got lots of veggies. So we'll give it some lemons. And we'll give it some potatoes. And we'll give it some carrots. And we'll give it some corn. I'll just stick all that in there and let it eat whatever the hell it wants to. Okay, so that gives us all the veggies. Uh, and we will... Here, let me look uh, one last time here. We will get, even with veggies, we'll still get all, all 74 levels. That's just going to take a long freaking time is all. Um, okay. So I think we have everything we need. Uh, we got food for ourselves. Let's, uh, we are going to be in a colder biome. So let's just grab a few brews. Rio curry in particular. We have some medical brew there. And I suppose we could also just take some fur with us. If we need to. Uh, so we got an ascendant for chest. We got the hat. Uh, what happened to the fur leggings and all that stuff? You know what, though? Those two pieces, along with our fortitude and Freya curry, we should be fine. Okay. So, here we go. Oh, wait. Do I have a, a cryopod? Yes, I do. Okay. Make sure we have a crap pod. So, yeah, where I saw that Therizinosaur is way up in the northwest. Um, it was actually a couple of days ago, too, but we haven't had a dino wipe as far as I know. In fact, nobody else has really been playing on the server but me. So, I don't know. This might not be much of a multiplayer, but that's okay, you know. it's We're, we're doing what we need to do, whether we have people joining us or not. It's, it's always funner with more people, but what can you do, right? What can you do? Okay, so guys, I think what I'm going to do is cut the camera here, and then I'll just bring you back when we get into the area um, and uh, go from there. Okay, so I saw the Therizinosaur. Uh, there's a couple of rhinos over there. On this, kind of up on this uh, shelf up here. But, like I said, that was a couple days ago, so it very well could have dropped down below. We'll just 
just look around for it, see if we can spot it. Oh, look, there's some pearls in there. That's nice to know. Okay, so I'm not seeing it up above. Let's let's take a look on this shelf. Megatherium, a couple megatheriums. Those guys are supposed to be really good against insect enemies. Uh, and the critter of choice for the broodmother fight. Okay, there's a Thera right there. Is that the one we're after? Yes, it is. Level 150. Beautiful. Okay. So, let's get away from him. Um, I don't want it to... Come too close to us. Yeah, let's um, let's build the pin over here. Okay, so we'll put that guy there. Let's get into camera mode. I need to turn this way a little bit. That's pretty good. Back up here and back up to here. Whoops. Okay, put that door there. This will be the entry door, so we want it to auto close only and delay by uh, five seconds. We want this to auto close only and no delay. Okay, that looks, that gap looks big enough to get Vampyra through. Let's test it. We're going to need to get these trees out of the way, too. Uh, did that other door open? I thought I said auto-close only. What the hell, man? Auto-close only. Okay. Now, the one thing I'm not 100% positive of is if the Therizina can get through those gaps. Um, it probably can't, but I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Let's get these trees out of the way here. else should be fine all right well here goes nothing hopefully it'll go straight across this bridge hey buddy you want to come and join my army I'm recruiting you whether you like it or not. Hey, cut that out. Okay, come straight across the, the bridge. Right into the trap. All right, now the question is, can you get out of the trap? Hey, what the hell, man? In the trap. Come on. Come at me, bro. Dude, seriously? 
Come on. What is the <laughs> Is it because the door is not Here. Let's stay inside for a moment. What the hell? Didn't I set that Okay, I guess we need I guess we have too much of a delay on this door. Can I get to it from here? Yes. Okay. Set close delay to no delay. All right. Let's try this again. He's just walking right back out of it. <laughs> okay. Now he should be trapped. Assuming he can't get out the gaps. Yeah, he can get out the gaps. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to have to... Uh, uh, we're going to have to redo this. Unless... um, You know what I might be able to do is... Oh, shit. Oh, we don't want these guys interfering. What I could do is make some pillars to fill in those gaps. It might be faster than trying to reset the gates. This guy's dropping on her head. Okay, so yeah, let's. Oh, here we go. All right, so let's do this. Let's go crafting. We want medium S plus pillars. Those are large. Those are medium. Okay. So let's farm up uh, some materials for that. See, so you should be passive. Yes, you are. I would res I would reset them if the Therizina wasn't like right there, you know, but since it is right there, that's going to be a little bit problematic, I think. That gives me one. Uh, we need more stone. It gives me two. We might only need to cover that one gap, though. We'll have to see. All right, where did the Thera go? He's right over there. Okay, let's just pop that in there. I know it's not straight, but see, this gap looks a little bit narrower. See, the bat can't get through there either, so. My guess is that it'll work. And it might even be narrower here, too. Well, here, let's just put that down anyway, just to be safe. Okay, let's try this again. Um, I mean, we can even pull them in from this. I don't think it matters. Now let's see if he stays stuck in there. Okay, he can't get out through there. He doesn't appear to be able to get out through the other side. I'm gonna put 
this on the bat for the moment. Alright, let's get our dart gun out. And put darts in it. That's kind of important. Okay, so again, Dota Dex is saying 16 shots. We don't need to worry about headshots. Let's do this. Okay. We started with 101 darts. We now have 79. So that actually took 22 shots. But I think I missed once or twice. Very good. Okay. So let's grab the veggies and the biotoxin and start the tame. Torpor's already going down. Okay. So, yeah. Um, oh, you know what? Though we can do a sanguine elixir. That'll speed it up by 30%. I don't know if I have to be looking at him or not. Um, but, uh... Can't see that. There we go. So he's already 36.2%. And we should. And so now it's definitely not going to take an hour and 18 minutes. Um, I think I think that calculation's probably a little off anyways. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to take about 30 minutes. We'll see though. So it's about 1030 my time. 10.30 p.m. Um, this is just kind of a shitty spot because I have trouble seeing it. 38.3. Because we've already tamed it 8.3%. Because the 30% was from the Sanguine. Okay, let's do... Let's feed one of these to... To him. Yeah, it's going back up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of patrol around the area on Vampira and make sure there's no other nasties around. 59.1%. Yeah, there's no way this is going to take an hour and 18 minutes. Uh, I can't get to the dude, though. There we go. Okay, let's um, let's give him a couple of bites of biotoxin, and he's he's still at ninety nine point nine percent. Yeah, we're not gonna have any trouble at all getting seventy four levels, assuming it doesn't get take any damage. That is. Okay, well, uh, at this point, guys, I think I'm just gonna cut the camera. I'll bring you back uh, when the Therizinosaur is up. And we'll see uh, what we got for stats. I'm going to go over and pick those pearls wherever it was I saw them. Alright. We have uh, some true dons over here. I don't want anywhere near our team. Those are bastards. Man, it's, it's taking a hell of a lot more than just four biotoxins to keep this thing going here. It's at 94.4%. It goes up about 2.1% per bite of veggie. And I think it eats about every, in, what, 30-second interval or something like that? So it's going pretty quick, actually. There we go. Okay, we're gonna call this Thera Father. 
I know, not a very creative name, but it's a functional name. And uh, we got ourselves a perfect tame max level Therizino, guys. This is the going to be the dad of our the Therizino, Therizinosaur part of our army when the time comes. Cool. Okay, let's get him put away. And there's his stats for those of you who are interested. So he's got 59,000, or sorry, 5,900 health and 337 damage. Those are really the only two we care about uh, for, an, for an army dino. So I, I don't know, I don't have anything to compare that to, so I don't know if those stats are actually that good or not, but it's what we got. So there you have it. All right, let's grab all that stuff. And we'll put uh, this back on and pull down our gates here and then be on our merry way. Okay, uh, that was uh, quite successful, I have to say. And uh, didn't take anywhere near as long as I was anticipating, but I have to tell you what, having that sanguine elixir is just absolutely the cat's meow. Knocking 30% off the tame time is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so we're still on the lookout for a level 150 male Rex, but I'm, uh, I'll tell you what, though, if I don't come across one pretty soon here, I'm probably going to grab something a little lower because the only thing that matters on Rex is his health and, and damage. That's it. None of the rest of it matters because you don't typically, uh, you know, ride the Rexes. I will be probably on a U Tyrannus um, directing the rest of the army. So, so if we, you know, even if we got a low-level male, as long as the offspring inherits the mother's health and damage, then that's all we really care about. I kind of like the colors of that arch. It's a 130 female. Yeah. So, just kind of. Just looking around a little bit before we take off. Uh, you know what we could do since we're here? Why don't we just run up to the artifact of the hunter cave and grab the loot crates really quick. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Eh, stupid man to settle. All right. No, don't try and perch. Let's take care of these guys first. Damn nice hatchet and some ascendant hide. Um, this is 186. Ah, that's actually better, even though it's a journeyman. Nice. Okay. Well, that was worth coming in here for. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And then um, I'm not sure what we'll do in the next episode, but we will certainly figure it out and go from there. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.